Okay, in our part three video here, we're going to do the work on our first screen with the background image and the sprites that are gonna go on top of it. So again, to find the background image, I'm looking for a kitchen. So I'm going back to Google. I'm making sure that I have labeled for reuse here. If you've closed out of this tab, you need to go to images.google.com and click on that um, advanced search again at the bottom. Uh, so let's go, I'm gonna look for a kitchen. And I want more of a clip art kitchen. I'm not happy with the, the real photos. I want to find something um, that's more of a clip art looking thing. So I can go here. This looks great for me. I like this one. So I'm going to right click on it and save image as. And remember, I'm renaming it to kitchen so I can find it easier in the future. So now I have my canvas selected. I go over to background image. It's not an option here yet, so I need to go to Upload, Choose File, and Kitchen. So it's going to fill the background of my canvas, and I need to find the items to put on top of it. So I'm going to look for things like a bottle, um, a soda can, and um, a newspaper, and then I had an apple core is what I was looking at um, for my non-recyclable item. All right, bottle clip art. So this guy looks good here, so I'm going to right click. I like that this is transparent because this is gonna be going on top of another picture, so it's actually pretty important here. If you're having trouble finding a transparent background, which is, uh, you can tell it's transparent by this gray and white checkerboard, you can type in PNG like this, and that will uh, hopefully give you more results that are transparent. So I'm going to right click on the bottle and I'm going to save it as a bottle. Go back to Thunkable. Remember this is a sprite. So we are dragging the sprite over. I want it to live on top of the counter right there. I'm going to find picture, upload, and this time it's the bottle. And okay. And I also want to um, Oh, it's still uploading. You can read, sometimes you get little messages up here telling you that it's working on something. Um, so what we're gonna do is just continue finding the sprites and putting them in their locations. Um, you may need to resize them. So obviously uh, this guy, this bottle is way too big. I'm going to try, the size is actually the size of the box that it's like an invisible box that the bottle lives in. So I'm gonna try maybe 30 high and width Let's try 20 because it's kind of skinny. So that's a little too small. I might go a little bigger. Okay, so you can experiment with the size um, and width of the, um, uh, okay, so the, the experiment with the size and width of your, the height and width of your um, sprites that you put on here. So I'm going to pause the video and you can continue looking for all the sprites that you'll put on here. I recommend no more than four. You really don't want to make your app too big. Um, so go ahead and get your sprites on here and make sure they are the correct size and that also they are in a location that you've typed in, not just um, kind of accepted as the what the, the, what the location that Thunkable gave you. All right, so I'll pause the video and you can get the rest of your sprites in there. Okay, so I have all of my sprites located in the kitchen and I want to um, make sure that I code this back button. So I'm gonna go back into blocks and I'm going to click on button one. When button one is clicked, I wanna do the same thing I did uh, to get to this screen. So that's in the control section open another screen and the screen name this time is screen one because we're going back to screen one okay and make sure you do that with a capital s and no space because up here it looks like that capital s and no space and it needs to be identical um, okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to uh, get sound to play when your sprite is tapped so that your user knows if they tapped the correct answer or not. Um, and so what you need to do now is go into your other screens, living room and bedroom or whatever rooms you chose of your house and get the background images in there and the sprites on top as well. Don't forget to code your back button on all of your screens to go back to screen one. 
and I will see you in the next and final video where I show you how to get sound attached to these image sprites um, so your user can play your iSpy game.